Welcome back. Right now we are going to talk about autonomous vehicles or self-driving cars. Whether you're excited about them, terrified, love the idea or not, I spoke with an expert recently all about how these vehicles are progressing and also insurance issues. Let's take a look. Autonomous vehicle technology is advancing every day with nearly every major auto manufacturer and tech company getting involved. In fact, the first fully driverless ride hailing vehicles are already beginning to appear on public streets in some cities. With the technology at our doorstep, what will this mean for drivers today and in the future? Joan Woodward is the Executive Vice President of Public Policy for Travelers and President of the Travelers Institute, and she is joining us with answers. Joan, so looking forward to this conversation. How are you? Great. Thanks for having me today. Appreciate it. So we hear so much about them. Joan, what is the current state of autonomous vehicles right now? You know, the autonomous vehicle industry really has grown significantly over the past couple of years and will continue to do so with, as you say, lots of tech companies and startups in the game. But what's happening now is the testing and the rollouts in limited areas of the country. So different cities have robust programs to test. Millions of miles have already been driven by these autonomous vehicles in their testing phase. Um, but there's other questions besides just technology and how the technology works. So that's around regulation of an AVs, uh, safety. Uh, safety is a very big concern of a lot of consumers. And then the insurability, how will they be insured and what does that insurance marketplace look like? And we're, we're highly engaged in that conversation. What do AVs mean for roadway safety today and in the future? We really do believe that AVs uh, will ultimately benefit society, you know, greatly here because if you think about it, 94% of all crashes happen because of human error. So if you take out that human uh, component of decision making and think about distracted driving causing lots of different fatalities on the roads. Uh, in fact, 36,000 people died on U.S. roads last year. So by removing that human element of distraction or other uh, human error, we do believe that autonomous vehicles it really has promising hope for the future of reducing roadway fatalities. What role do auto insurers play in the conversation about autonomous vehicles? That's a good question. We've been actively engaged with regulators and policymakers around the country. You know, we're regulated by the states. Um, and so that insurance regulation really does help us get through solving the problems of consumers in terms of getting that efficient, transparent check in your hand when you have a crash a couple of days after that. But the real question for AVs is who's liable, right? Is the manufacturer of that AV technology liable for that crash or is the driver making a mistake still in their, uh, in their driving? And what will insurance look like in a world with autonomous vehicles? Who's at fault in a collision with a driverless vehicle? Yeah, there will be some confusion over whether the driver or the manufacturer is responsible or liable for that crash. And it's likely every circumstance is going to be unique and different. And so it, we're very good in the insurance industry assessing risk and assessing liability. What's going to happen on your end as the consumer, you'll get that check in your hand again within a few days. And we on the back end will go figure out working with the manufacturer and looking at all the data that the computer has collected in that AV to discern who's liable. And so we will figure that out, but rest assured, the consumer will be made whole very quickly. So where can we go for more information? Yeah, you know, we just reduced, produced a white paper with lots of facts and figures and good information for consumers to check it out. So it's travelersinstitute.org. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Joan Woodward, for joining us today here on Parkley Television, having this important and fascinating conversation about autonomous vehicles. Thank you for having me.